This is Greg from Greg Cheek Speaks, and I'm at Swope Park Training Facility, and I'm here with Omar Vallo, and this is my segment of my series called The Power of Community College. And so as I'm working on my next book, America's Educational Gem, The Community College, I'm reaching out to professionals in all parts of life, and I was so excited when I ran into Omar through a good friend of mine. A good friend of mine is Kurt Austin, and Kurt Austin is general manager for the Swopak Rangers. Uh, for all the soccer fans out there, just to kind of tell you where we're at here. So Sporting Kansas City is the, is the would be like in, in Germany, is the first division, Bundesliga, and then Swopak Rangers would be like the second division or the feeder club to, uh, to uh, Sporting Kansas City. So, and Omar is a future, future all-star. He's an all-star right now and a super young man. So before I start asking questions, we were talking before, I just want to give the audience a little bit, just a little quick background, and we're going to kind of peel the onion back. So right now, Omar is uh, playing for Swope Park Rangers here in Kansas City, Missouri, which is a member of the United Soccer League and uh, also part of my hometown in Sacramento, which is part of that, uh, <laughs> part, of, part of the league. But uh, he was drafted by the Houston Dynamo, uh, Major League Soccer, and uh, played college uh, soccer at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. And then before that, the big reason for, for, this, uh, for this interview and also feeding into, uh, into my book is he was a player and he played at the Community College of Baltimore County in Essex, right? So, oh, it's good, it's good, to, good to have you here. I really, really enjoyed talking to you. Um, I follow you, I follow Sporting Kansas City. Matter of fact, I'll be there tonight you gonna to go tonight? I'm gonna play. Okay, yeah. then, okay. <laughs> then I then I got I got a hot dog or something for you. Maybe we'll go to Arthur Bryant's across the street beforehand. But uh, I, I I I'm you know I just spent five years in Germany, so I'm a big 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 uh, football soccer fan. And so just talk to me a little bit about um, so for the audience where, where you're from and how you ended up at uh, at the Community College of Baltimore County Essex. Uh, it's, uh, it's a long process. I'm from originally from Mali, West Africa. Came here when I was nine years old, and growing up is going through school. I was I played for Baltimore Bays, and um, I've known different coaches, and I've grew up with, with a lot of coaches that coach a lot of different schools. And going through college, I mean, going going through high school, I've always had a decision like going on in college, and I've I committed to Loyola. And because of where I'm from and not having a, a certain paperwork, I didn't end up there. And so, because I didn't end up there, I took a year off. And uh, with taking a year off, I kind of sat back and wasn't doing anything. And because I wasn't doing anything, I kind of felt lethargic. So uh, I had to get up and um, get involved. And, right, like, right, right. and one of my good friends, the coach at uh, Essex, at uh, the community college, um, talked to me a bit and wanted me to come in. So. I went in and gave it a shot, and going through the school, I mean, like I said, it's the people you're involved with, it's the people you, you surround yourself by, and I was surrounded by a lot of positive people and a lot of positive energy that people always like look towards me, and it's a lot of pressure, you know, because you got to keep them happy, keep yourself happy, right, 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 it's, right, just, right. it's just a process, but that's a little bit of uh, the background, like going, going through community college. Okay, so, so community college was your, so they gave you that chance, right? Gave you that opportunity. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it, it was it was a huge step for me just because I had to keep playing. I had to right, keep right. pushing myself, and because of that, and because of people I know, it just, it helped me out a lot. Because it, like being around people all the time and constantly playing, even community college, like it's not that much of a different from a four year university. Like right. you know, like I, when I ended up at UMBC, like. Essex is was a stepping stone just because it wasn't a drop off. The players there are like people who weren't weren't given that much of a chance, and people in my situation right, where right. like they didn't have certain documents, they didn't have certain paperwork, and just couldn't be seen and didn't have the opportunity that I've gotten. But because of that, like they're still good players. It's not like they're they're bad players. They're still good players. So it, like the level never dropped off, right, and right. when you're constantly playing at a at a level a good level. You're just mm -hmm. going to constantly keep getting better, constantly right, right. find ways to push yourself. Yeah, yeah. So. Do you feel yourself uh, academically more prepared by going to community college for a year and then when you went to 
University of Maryland, Baltimore <laughs> County. How did you feel? Now, we talked about this. I heard you're, you're a good student. I know you're going to be shy about it, but I know well, you're I, a good student. <laughs> I want to lie, that's a, that's a funny story. For me, it's always been, I always have kept my head on straight. And right. so I'm um, like, I didn't have the best, the best of grades, but I've always kept a level head and kept the good enough, good right, good right. grades to get by school and everything like that. So I've, I've in school, I've gave it my all, you know, right, right. like it might not, school, I wasn't the best at school, but you know, I put my best for and it came out with decent grades. Right, right. <laughs> but and, and you didn't you didn't tell tell the audience this, but when you came here at nine years old, you didn't speak any English at all. Uh, not at all. None. Not at all. Not and that at is all. a it's, it's, it's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. And I know you're being shy about your grades, but I know I know I know you're a really good student. So so the transition from community college to four year college was smooth. What about and we talked about it, so athletics. Really wasn't a big difference going from Essex to community college to university and University of Maryland, Baltimore County, I've looked at the last number of years, uh, I spoke to the coach. Um, the uh, I mean, that's, that's high competition. I look at all the teams are playing. Yeah. they're playing all the big folks out no, there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's like, like I said, like I've always been a person to to give it my all, no matter what. I've always been uh, straightforward. Like if I'm on a field, like no matter how tired I am, no matter how what's going on, no matter how injured or like anything like that. Like as long as you work as hard as you can like nothing can can stop you basically and so wherever you end up whether it's community college or a four-year college because like i said there's not that much of a difference between right. the two because right, of the right. level of the play it's you just got to keep pushing like you know like and coming from community college and going to a floor like you're right it, it is very competitive and yeah. the teams we played when i was there especially pushing into the ncaa tournament mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. making it so far in that tournament is you just gotta keep pushing, you right, know. Like right. no, no matter what, like everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna have something to say about you yeah. at some point. But as yeah. long as you keep pushing through it, there's nothing that it exactly. really hurts you. you exactly. Know? <laughs> what about what about uh, talking about academics for a minute in community college? What's the advantage of having smaller classes, closer, you know, uh, contact with the professors? Was it different community college than it was in a four year? Or is it was it pretty much the same? Really, you didn't really see much of a transition or difference. For me, like I said, like uh, it, it's whatever you make of it you know like if you go to a community college with the mentality of not oh it's, a, it's gonna be easy then right. you're gonna fail right away yeah. and that's yeah. that's with anything you do in life if you go in, if you go in the mentality of oh I don't have to give it my all it's gonna be easy then you know that's the you're gonna fail like if but if you go in the mentality of oh like I'm here so I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention I'm gonna get involved as much as I can and from there like I'm gonna just move on right. like you know right. and everything becomes easier that way because you've always had you already have the mentality of staying focused to what you're doing right like you know right. like right. so with a community college like yes the classes are smaller but it's not any less intense exactly like, you know teachers are getting involved you have to you have to like uh, what's the word i'm looking for you have to get involved you have to stay in touch with the teachers you have to you have to do your work like it's not it's not any different than right, right. being anywhere else yeah and you know the story the story is always the same and as you are you know you're a professional soccer player my look at cam newton who went to community college in brenham texas and aaron Rodgers went to butte community college near where i grew up in sacramento um julian edelman for the new england patriots another guy went to san mateo community yeah. college always the same you know it's 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 no different than and there's always a perception that it's different in a community college than it is a four-year school. I don't know if it's this, um, I don't watch TV, regular TV, but this show community, people think that it's kind of like a joke, but it really is. And when I read different blogs and stuff, people are like, well, I don't really get the same college experience going to community college that I did a four-year college. But I look at your, the soccer program at Essex, it's pretty competitive, really competitive. Yeah. I look at all the, the young men playing there yeah. and where they're, and I looked at the, you know, the, when you were there in past years, and they've all moved on. Moved on exactly. to four-year colleges, exactly. and moved on professionally, and done other things. So it opened, open windows and avenues that they probably would have never had before. Exactly. So I think it's important for people uh, to look at. And you, and you picked the community college in, in Essex, but there's community colleges all over the country that that everybody out there can can choose to go to. So what I want to do, because uh, Omar just had a very hard uh, training session, and the first team, the team that uh, he's going to be starring for here real soon. They're playing Vancouver tonight. So what I want to do, I've got a copy of my book. This, right. is, this is for you, Omar. And we talked a little bit about this, but I'm going to lead into the next couple of things that we talked about. And 
in this book, I really have, there's three main points. It says 12 and a half points of contact, you know, different avenues, but it's really three main points. And that is, we talked about optimism, we talked about vision, action, the last one's enthusiasm. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with the last one first because I just watched you practice. <laughs> Talk to me about how important enthusiasm is, is to you and what it means to you. To me, I think enthusiasm makes a, makes the team. Like, enthusiasm brings positive energy all around. And I'd rather have a team of people who are enthusiastic and always working hard than people who just think they're above everything. Right. Like, you know, right. like who with, I guess, not the best attitude or negative attitude. Like if you if you don't if you don't come into something enthusiastic, you're not gonna give it your all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta have you gotta be having fun with it. You gotta be able to like bring positive energy with it. And if you can't do that, then yeah. you're not doing your best. Yeah, at yeah. All, right? I know. I, I watched you today. I noticed that today. <laughs> that and that when I, I noticed a lot of the players looking to you too, and especially the young the younger players looking to you. And you said something. Hey, come over here. Go do this. And always keeping everybody up. Okay. Next vision. Talk to me. About, just give me an example in your life where vision. Uh, was important was important for you you know like growing up it's always been tough and i'm the oldest of in my family of uh, six kids so i've always want saw myself as something like better like right, you know right. so I've, I've and i've always wanted to do better for my family and for my people surrounding me like mm -hmm. i said like i have a real family connection with everyone i get involved with and because of that, it puts pressure on me and for me to not only see myself now, but to see myself within five years, 10 years, you know? Like, and with that vision, like my future is a lot brighter than my now. Okay. So no matter how, mu how much I struggle now, my vision is always further than what's in front of me. Wonderful. You know? Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's the only way I can explain it. And that's like, that's helped me out a lot in my life just because with, with my family and with my sisters and uh, my brother, I've kind of always had to be like a figure, like a leader, a leader figure type, type yeah, yeah. situation, exactly. leader, you know? So like, I've yeah. always had to not only see the best in myself and see the best for me going forward, but see the best for them too. Yeah. So yeah. And, and the first one, so went to the middle, went to, went to vision. What about optimism? We talked about the, I mean, <laughs> I, and, and I read before we had this interview and you told me a little bit about where you're from. You have to be optimistic yeah, yeah. and out. But tell yeah, me yeah. an instance where optimism was was valuable in your life. I know you have many. many. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm very optimistic when it comes to any situation, and that's one thing going through school. Like I said, um, I wasn't the best at school, but because I always had, I was always optimistic going towards it, and always like a happy go getter about it. That if if you're always in a positive, positive, I don't know, like you always have a positive vibe about you, that's nothing really can stand in your way. Like that's with anything. And for me, it was school. I'm, um, I'm, I was always like, I wasn't the best at it, but I've always looked at myself as, okay, like today I have to, you know what I mean? Like I have to, yeah. I'm up, like I gotta go, I'm up. Like yeah, yeah, once yeah, I wake yeah. up in the morning, it's just, hey, like, <laughs> how you doing? Know, like, and that's exactly on, what man? your coaches say about you too, the same way. And, and you were toting those books around. I know you were. I know you were toting those books around because you were hitting yeah, those books. Yeah, I was. I so was, who, so. who was the driving force behind you being so good in school? Who was it? It was all my coaches. Oh, <laughs> coaches, you coaches? Yeah, it was, I told you, like I'm, I've been always been surrounded by positive energy, yep, and I've yep. always been surrounded by people who push me. So every coach I've ever played for, always like, they didn't just see athletics for yep. me, and yep. so because of that, like I'm very thankful. For right, right, right. Every right. coach that, that has been involved in my life, right. from Matt Dwyer to Karinchi yep, yep. to Anthony to yep, uh, yep. you know, there's, there's so many people that I, like I would name, and it's right, just right. like. They've pushed me so much in my life that I'm very thankful for them, and I wouldn't be where I was if it right. wasn't for them. You know right, what I mean? Right. So it's 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 a lot of the due to them that I've yeah, done yeah. well in school. Good, and that, you know that's kind of a. And before I talk about action, I have a big part of my book. I talk about the power of giving thanks, and it kind of works. That gratitude works in reverse, and I was doing that in my situation. So all these people that you have, and I know that you're thanking them. I know you keep in contact with them. I know they keep in contact yeah. with you, and that's critical. Okay, last one, action. And uh, the one I'd like you to share is where you talked about you kind of were just when you were um, put away on waivers, so you were just kind of really were sure where you're gonna yeah. go. And talk about how you were doing, looking at different teams and stuff. Uh, I like that. With with me, once I got uh, let go by Houston, um, 
I've kind of I was kind of a down point in my life but at, from there like I've never given up and once I got let go I didn't see that as the end of my run at all and what I did was basically I talked to my agent to talk to every team he could possibly talk to just to get me out there and get me good. going and, and keep me on trials keep me just playing and right, right. with that like I kept doing that throughout I think I've gone trial out for like five or six teams I think. <laughs> so, and I wanted to keep going you right, know? Like, right, and, right. and, and um, half a year like you can't you can't ever stop and right, for me right. it was just I always had to keep moving forward right, right. and so going on trials it kept me like kept me up it kept me optimistic yeah. and still yeah. like wanting to keep my run up and keep keep going you know right. the actions the actions I took and the actions that my agent took and to get me places it, you know it really helped right. so right. Yeah, I know you're uh, I know your general manager I know he's I don't think you're going too far from here so somewhere between here and when you go play for Sporting Kansas City which I'm sure is gonna happen soon uh, the general manager Kurt Austin you're not going anywhere <laughs> soon they love having you here and uh, here. They, oh this is for you this Thank for you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've enjoyed the interview. Um, for everybody out there, uh, Omar Balu is on, you can get him on Facebook, he's on Twitter, social media. You need to follow him. He's somebody that's moving up. I'm so excited <laughs> to watch you move up. You know, I have a passion for community college. And those that start in community college, from, from Tom Hanks, who's a community college guy, George Lucas, community college guy, to Omar, community college guy. I just, I, I love following their stories, the way they go up the resilience that brings them up, and sharing everything with you. So uh, this is Greg Omar Ballo from Swope Park here in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, wishing everybody a great day. Bye. Good, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you, I appreciate it. I appreciate hey. It. Hey.